All right, let's solve this differential equation. Um, this is a linear differential equation, first order um, solution. The first thing you want to do is write it in standard form. So this is standard form, dy dx plus p of x, y equals f of x. So it's not quite there yet. You have to get rid of this x. So we'll divide everything by x. So dy dx plus dividing this by x, you get 2 over x, y. And then dividing these guys by x, you get x squared minus 1. At this point, you'll notice that p of x is right there. It's 2 over x. So you compute what's called your integrating factor. That's mu of x. So this is equal to the integral, e to the integral of p of x with respect to x. Well, p of x is 2 over x. So this is 2 over x dx. So this is equal to 2 natural log absolute value of x. So this is e to the natural log of x squared, which is just x squared. All right, the next step is to multiply this, this equation, not, not the first one, by x squared. So we have x squared dy dx plus x squared times 2 over x. So that'll be just 2x because we lose a copy of x. And then here, be really careful here. It's really easy to mess up. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth and then minus x squared. The next step is the coolest part of this problem because all of this is the derivative with respect to x of x squared times your unknown function y. And this is equal to x to the fourth minus x squared. Now you should check this. Let's check. So if you take the derivative of the first piece, you get 2x times the second piece plus the first times the derivative of the second factor, so dy dx. That was the product rule. So derivative of the first, 2x times the second, plus the first. Yep, looks okay. To get rid of the derivative, we have to integrate both sides. So when you integrate, so integrate, integrate. So when you integrate, the derivative goes away. So you get x squared y equals, be really careful here, don't forget to integrate the right-hand side. Um, this is x to the 5, or 5th power over 5, minus x cubed over 3, plus a constant. Uh, divide everything by x squared, so we end up with y equals 1 fifth x cubed, because x to the 5 over x to the 2 is x to the 3, minus 1 third x plus c, and I'll bring this upstairs and make it negative. There we go. That's the final answer.